What's up guys, welcome back to The Skeleton Closet where we talk celebrity news and hot topics. Today, we have to get caught up on a couple of different things, so let's get into the video. I'm gonna just run down my shout outs. Hey, dun -dun. <laughs> so the last time that we talked, I let you guys know that Sharon Osbourne had made her official departure of the talk show on CBS named The Talk and it's now being said that, like I had mentioned earlier, that she is going to receive a pretty hefty payout for her departure of the show. It's being said that Sharon Osbourne is receiving up to an eight-figure payout after allegations of her racist behaviors have come to light. Now, Page Six is the one writing this story, and there is a source that is close to Sharon Osbourne that is speaking with the publications, saying Sharon is walking away with a five to ten million dollar payout and was able to spin that it was her decision to leave the show. Now, if you all watched my previous video on this after she made her official departure, I alleged that there was an NDA involved. But this source is saying that Sharon Osbourne is free to speak out whenever she would like saying Sharon will talk when she is ready. She still wants to give her side of the story. She has been on that show for 11 years and knows all the secrets and where all the skeletons are buried. Sharon Osbourne allegedly has some secrets that she knows about the show, but from what we've heard from the past couple weeks is that all of the secrets involve her. Every scandal surrounds Sharon Osbourne. She is the one that was going around saying that Julie Chen nickname was wonton and slanty eyes she even called sarah gilbert's pea liquor and some other things that is quite racist and homophobic in my opinion sharon osborne has officially quit the talk she will be receiving a payout like i said before but this source is saying that there was not nda involved she is free to speak out whenever she would like now another thing that has come to light is is that sharon osborne could possibly be suing cbs now last week page six exclusively revealed that sharon osborne had lawyered up with jeremiah reynolds who is a top entertainment attorney and he said that she wasn't going down without a fight she knows where all the bodies are buried and where all the skeletons are so again, Sharon Osbourne is alleging that she knows all of the secrets that CBS and The Talk are hiding. We don't know if there are any secrets to begin with because the secrets that we know of, she is the one that they surround. She is the one that was going around being racist and homophobic using the words like wonton, slanty eyes, and pea liquor. Those are definitely racist slurs and especially in the context of which she used them. Now, initially when that report came out of her saying those things, Leah Remini went on the record and said that Sharon Osbourne said those things. Now, those statements and those allegations aren't coming from unknown sources. Multiple sources have corroborated Leah Remini's claims that Sharon Osbourne has said these things about Sarah Gilbert and Julie Chen. As well, she already knows the things that were said about her as well as Holly Robertson Pete. But Sharon Osbourne continues to say that these allegations are worth crap, all crap. Everyone's got an opinion or a story like the wonton story. It's like F off with your effing wonton story. F off is what Sharon Osbourne said in an interview with the Daily Mail. Now, a CBS spokesperson said that that is false, inaccurate, or untrue. Take your pick. Whatever you want to call it, those allegations seem to be standing firm because they are corroborated and a lot of people have said that Sharon Osbourne has said these things about them. And it might just be best for Sharon Osbourne to take the money that CBS and The Talk is willing to give her. Because if anything else comes out of this, that Sharon Osbourne possibly used more racist language against some of her coworkers or fellow co-hosts, this can only get worse from her. In poker, they say you need to know when to get up and leave the table. This is when Sharon Osbourne needs to take the money that she's won and just walk away. Deal with your reputation later. Stop trying to save face because at this point, your reputation is already damaged. It's already damaged to some degree. But if you would like to save what you do have and work in Hollywood again, I would just do it. Now, the statement that was released by CBS 
was negotiated with Sharon Osbourne's lawyers in a way so that she could still work in Hollywood, so that she can still work with other networks, TV shows possibly, or even do TV shows or movies if she wished to do so. In that statement, it says Sharon Osbourne has decided to leave the talk. The release from CBS read, the events of March 10th broadcast were upsetting to everyone involved, including the audience watching at home. Now, they did not completely fault her for what happened. Later on in that statement, they even said that the showrunners and producers did hold some responsibility for what happened on the show. However, none of the co-hosts were blindsided like Sharon Osbourne was stating. So again, I think Sharon Osbourne should just take her chips that she has accumulated from this game and just walk away quietly, take the five to $10 million, that is the minimum of what she could get, and just go. And she was even able to spin it as, it as if it was her decision to leave, regardless of everything that everyone knows about the allegations that were going on, the ha what happened on the show on March 10th, everyone releasing this footage of her completely going off on Cheryl Underwood even as they went to commercial break. I don't know if you guys have tuned into this, but take a look at this clip and this will let you know exactly what the attitudes and the tension felt like in the room on March 10th at the talk. How can I be racist about anybody or anything in my life? How can I? Well, 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 I well tell what? You, we will be right well, back. What? We have more topics, so don't go away. And I think we don't should go. stop this. Now, as you can see, Elaine Welteroth is very uncomfortable. She's looking at Cheryl Underwood, she's looking at Sharon Osbourne, but she's also looking off stage to possibly the cameraman, the producer, someone in the control room, the floor manager, someone to rein Sharon Osbourne in because she is clearly going crazy using the F word, even going into the commercial break. So you can see that there's definitely tension in the room. Elaine Welteroth was very uncomfortable, which is why she went to HR and filed that formal complaint about Sharon Osbourne and the things that happened on March 10th. So there's clearly a lot of wrongdoing on Sharon Osbourne's part. She made her co-host feel uncomfortable and she did not take into account what she was saying in that moment and how that was going to affect not only herself, but her coworkers as well. And there was a comment that I read on one of the videos yesterday saying that if you're in a heated debate with someone, you don't necessarily take the take the time to realize how you're saying and it might take a minute for you to step back and apologize for the things that you have said. Even when I've gotten into an argument with someone and I realize that I have raised my voice with them, I immediately take that into account and apologize for raising my voice at them because it, as an adult, we can have a conversation that does not require me yelling or you yelling at me or me using words that are not appropriate. Now, these are conversations that I had with my friends in just social settings. I was not on live television for the world to see. There is a certain type of decorum that you're supposed to have as a talk show host, and Cheryl Osbourne failed at that on March 10th, and she fails to realize that to this day. So all in all, Sharon Osbourne is getting everything that she could possibly want out of all this. She's getting money, she's getting a clean break, and she's also getting an opportunity to work for other networks as well. So Sharon Osbourne isn't losing anything in this. Uh, the only thing that she's losing is her seat on the talk that she's been on for 11 years, but some would say that it might have been time for her to walk away from that show a long time ago, considering the way that she talks to her co-host and the things that she said about past co-hosts as well. This might be a great opportunity for her to try and do something else. Maybe she wants to go back to Britain and possibly work there. I think that it is a great thing that Sharon Osbourne is leaving the talk. This will give the talk show opportunities for a fresh start. We have Elaine Walteroth, Carrie Ann, and Naba. I got it right that time, okay? A lot of people tried to clock me. Not a lot of people, a couple of people tried to clock me because I was saying her name wrong. So let me say it again. Carrie Ann Inaba, Cheryl Underwood, and Amanda Klutz. Those ladies will remain on the talk. I'm sure they will have some, some heavy hitter celebrity guests come in and sit in the chair to have conversations, possibly fill out a couple of different people. You already know who I think would be good fits. 
And two people that I did not mention that some people have recommended in the comments that I think would be great fits for the talk show. One of them being Tamar Braxton. You remember she used to be on The Real that, and she also had quite an interesting exit from the talk show. She would definitely bring a lot of sass and pizzazz to the show. That'll be, ugh, that'll be real interesting. But another person that I think would be a great fit that probably would fit perfectly with the other ladies of the show, and that is Tabitha Brown. Tabitha Brown is a prominent social media influencer on Instagram, TikTok, and she does a lot of different vegan re recipes, and she has a very warm and welcoming tone about her. Just love watching her videos. I'm personally not even a vegan, but the way that she speaks to you just makes you feel like you are her family member, her friend, someone that is just very compassionate, loving, open, just a great vibe even through social media. And that is very rare. So I would love to see her on television, on daytime talk show. That would be a great move for Tabitha Brown. I don't even know if she is on CBS and the talks radar, but that would be a great fit. Whoever recommended that, I cannot remember who specifically made that comment, but that is a great fit for the show. She's a fresh face. Again, she has a wonderful personality and I would love to see her on the talk show. So those are my thoughts on what's going on with Sharon Osbourne and the talk, her getting the money, her walking away from the show, her getting everything that she could possibly want from this deal and what that possibly might mean for the talk and CBS in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I can know how you felt about today's video, but as well so that you can help me get it pushed through the algorithm a little bit. Definitely appreciate that. As well, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you can join us in the closet and be a part of the family. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.